Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Preciousness and in today's video I am here with this very delicious and beautiful okra soup recipe for you. Don't go anywhere. So the full ingredient list will be in the description box down below so make sure you check it out. So the first thing I do is to cook my meat. Here I have some beef, shaki, cow skin. I'm just going to add my pepper mix and this mix is just made up of oil, peppers and onions. I will add seasoning cubes, salt and I will add water and allow this to cook. So this has been cooking for a few minutes and our beef is soft. Meanwhile the cow our skin on the shark is not yet soft so I'm, I'm just going to take out the beef and I will, I will allow the shark here and one more cook further so this is my okra I just love cutting my okra into two different sizes and shapes and then I'm going to just blend little into a puree so now I'm going to make a pepper mix using three tata shades, two chumbos, some yellow peppers and the other small red peppers in a little meat broth i'm just going to add my prawns because i like cooking it for a few minutes before using it i don't like using it like that and if you noticed some of the prawns i removed the full skin some of them i did not because i don't actually love removing i don't actually like removing the skin so in a pan i'm going here with my red palm oil when it is hot i will add my lucas beans i will fry for a few minutes and then i will add my onions and i will fry as well then I'm going here with my crayfish powder. I'm just going to fry this for just a few seconds so it won't burn because if it gets burned, so it's going to change the taste of this meal, a bit the food. So now we're going here with my pepper mix. I will stir to combine, allow it to cook for a few minutes, and then I will add my stock fish. I will allow this simmer further, and then I will go here with my shaki, my cow skin, mix everything to combine, and then I will add my seasoning cubes. So at this point, I do not add salt because I'll be making use of the meat stock and it also contains salt and seasoning cubes. So I don't want it to be too much. So I will not add at this point. So now I'm going to add my meat. I will stir everything to combine and I'll, I'll be add my chicken. Ah, oh, sorry. I will add my meat stock to this. So now at this point, I will just cover and allow this to cook further. Just for a few minutes. So this is what we have and now I will go in with my pre-wrinkles. I will add my pre-wrinkles, I will stir, I will allow this simmer for a few seconds and then I'm going into my okra puree. So this is not compulsory, just that I just love using it because I like the the texture and everything it gives so you can skip it's not compulsory so after then i'm going to add my remaining crayfish powder i add my salt because i tested this and the salt was not enough so and i added look of seasoning to this as well and then you're just going to test and whatever thing that's not enough you can add at this point i added my pepper was not enough so i had my dry pepper to this and then i'll go in with my okra the ones i cut into smaller pieces i will just add everything bit by bit and after then i will go in with the other batch where I cut it, where I sliced it into round chips. At this point, I'm supposed to add my prawns before having the other batch of okra, but I actually forgot I was using prawns to cook. Forgive me, but thank God I did. Sha, I actually remembered and I added it. So I just had the second ones. I will stir and then I will go in with my prawns. I will stir to combine. Then now we had my vegetable. So I'm making use of all Caesar leaves. You can use ogre leaf, you can use bitter leaf, you can use whatever vegetable you have available. I have a Caesar leaf in my kitchen and that's what I'm going to use. So after that, I don't love I, I don't like cooking my vegetables and my okra. I don't like them to be too cooked. So at this point, I'm just going to take this pot off the heat. Our soup is ready. Can you see how beautiful this looks? Can you see how it looks? It even tastes even better. Try this and let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and also like this video. Drop a sweet comment for your encouragement of course thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video so please don't miss me too much